All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. I'm going to double check this. I must have forgotten to plug in the mic. Oh, wow. No, I actually did remember to plug in the mic. Wow. What a nice day. Well, what a nice day. Uh, amazing, as Jesse Lee Peterson would always say. So, um, let's see. We're up to, we're up to like 340. Yeah, 340. I don't know why, but the view count is always reported to be lower than it really is in the back end. It's, uh, I always wonder about that. Uh, but, oh well. Anyway, um, nah, so I think today might be a short video. Um, I've actually been going through a lot of uh, Jesse Lee Peterson's videos. So I have a lot to think about. Um, actually, now that I'm actually coming out with the game, I mean, you know, the quest text and, of course, me voicing over uh, the audio part of that actually is going to be uh, pretty much the whole point of the actual game. Like, obviously, I'll make it so it's like WoW or any other MMO where, like, you just simply hit the accept button, you don't even care. But I have a separate button right next to it that says text audio. Because, obviously, some people want to actually uh, read the lore. So, in my case, when you want to read it, you'll actually hear it, too. Um, and uh, you'll play as, I guess, I don't know, I'll have to look up the military rank uh, list. Uh, but I like the 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 rank of captain. It's uh it's kind of high up there, but obviously there's plenty more room to go. It's it's right nice down the middle. Uh, I think I think commander is above captain. I th okay now we now we have to look this up. I, so much for a short video. Uh, U.S. military rank. Um oh yeah, I forgot about lieutenant, but I like captain better and commander. Especially since you're supposed to be the guy in charge or gal in charge of like stuff, um, which is funny because I because I, I know it's going to be a problem not having female characters. But the problem is I still want it to be pretty a uh, pretty masculine game. Uh, so so I'm thinking because the way because I'm still trying to figure out the structure of the game. So like you'll play as a man, right? That'll be the first thing that comes out. And you'll be fighting for America essentially, right? The good guys ish. Right, and then eventually when I come out with the second character, I'll make that the woman, and she plays for the Empire. So you'll play as the bad, uh, bad girl, I guess, or bad guy in this case, because uh, I, I always, because a villains are always way more interesting to design, right? They're they're always more interesting. And on top of that, the stronger the villain, the better the the, the hero, because it's not really much about the hero. It's about the hero having to overcome how difficult the villain is or villainous in this case that's why the dark knight was is still my favorite movie because the joker was such a great villain like probably one of the greatest in history you know uh you know and if you were a kid then the greatest villain in history is darth vader right that's why that makes luke and uh bruce wayne that much more heroic uh okay i i don't want to can i just have like a list U.S. military list in order. Just, just show me the list. I don't, I don't need the whole thing. I guess I could click one of those pictures too. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Um, See, so start off as a private. Um, so you know what? This is the ground army. So I think maybe what I'm looking for. Uh, so you have okay. So captain is officer grade three oh three. Major really? Major is only four. I thought it would be higher. So colonels are up there, and then you become general. Uh, okay. You see, that's the thing. Like it, in Star Wars, everyone's just a general, so it kind of just loses its meaning. Uh, you know, at least in my game, if you're given the rank of general, you're actually going to be in, supposed to be in charge of a lot of stuff. Like eventually, like when I get the city building portion of the game out, I'll be like, you know, it's like those like casual Sim City, but with timers, like you know, like where you just like. You know, you only 24 hours in a building upgrade. So that's kind of like what I'm going to have, right? That's going to actually be like your city or colony or outpost or whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I have to honestly think on that later. <clears throat> so, yeah, you're the, you're, you're the person in charge of that. Uh, let's see. We're missing some things here. Yeah, I don't see commander listed here because I know that is an actual rank. Uh, or is it used to be? Yeah, the word commander does not show up. Um, let's see, U.S. military, U.S. Navy rank. Maybe commander is, is under, uh, the Navy thing. Or it could even be, um, 
Yeah, fleet commander. Um, let's see, this is enlisted grade. So you have petty officers, senior chief petty officers, and then eventually when you reach E9, master chief petty officer of the Navy. MC Pawn. Um, <clears throat> Hmm, that's kind of interesting. E9 is called a fleet commander. Uh, let's see. Then you have the officer grades, the actual admiral. So you have chief warrant officer, uh, officer grades. Warrant officer grades W1 to W5. Oh, I'm guessing warrant officers are different. Um, hey, I don't really, I don't usually hear that in, in shows or video games. Uh, it's usually the privates over here and the officers. Let's see, you have Ensign, of course. Uh, yeah, so there is Commander. It's actually under the Naval Branch. Yeah, 05. Oh, so Captain is actually above Commander. Oh, that's too bad, because I really liked Commander. I always felt that was like a strong... I, I, th I always thought that sounded more... Sh that sounded stronger than Captain. And then Captain's actually pretty high up there. They become Admiral afterwards. Oh man, I'm gonna have to sh start shuffling. Uh, I'm gonna have to start shuffling some of this around. So, what rank do you start out as? Because obviously, you're gonna be working up the ranks, and then eventually, you'll have to be in charge. Hmm. Uh, I guess you're gonna start out. I, mean, I guess maybe a lieutenant, right? Uh, and then I guess you'll have to quickly get com promoted in the quests, eventually to commander, and then you become captain. And then, uh, oh yeah, because actually in um. Star Trek Online, they actually use the same uh, thing, except I think they actually switch. Actually, no, they actually do do it correctly, actually. Yeah, Lieutenant Commander Data, and then eventually you become Captain. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so actually, yeah, I, I, I should have known this. But it's been so long since I've watched Star Trek, and obviously the recent Star Treks are just terrible, so. Yeah. Okay. So rare admiral, rare admiral. Okay. So we're not gonna. Pro we're probably not gonna use these. I'm actually might borrow from Star Wars, but probably I gotta check copyright. Vice admiral. So who? So who in the world uses this? Vice admiral is a three-star commissioned naval officer rank in the U.S. Navy. Oh, yeah. So and they have a pay grade of O nine. So they are the rank of O nine. Oh wait, actually they do use vice. Oh man, that's actually a lot higher. Uh, I guess we'll have to just skip the rare admiral stuff then, all right? Cap, well, that's a pretty big jump, captain to vice admiral. We don't. I mean, I'm not even gonna have ships and vehicles yet in my game. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, at least we have a pretty good chart to go with. All right. So now with that little digression out of the way. You see, this is kind of nice. Like right? you know that now that I'm moving away somewhat from the well. At least content-wise, from the politics stuff, I'm still definitely keeping up to date. I just don't report it. I just read it and go, "Oh, okay." Uh, you know, I can do I can do all this cool storytelling stuff. And actually, I was listening to um, Vincent James on the Jesse Lee Peterson Peterson show. I'm not sure if I've watched it before, but it's been so long that maybe I just don't remember. So I'm watching it. And it's like, oh wow, they're actually talking about some good stuff. In fact, I can't mention it because I don't want to risk us uh, getting banned. So. Yeah, but but either way, uh, good will always triumph over evil, and things are looking on the up and up. Um, so we just gotta just keep our noses relatively clean and just uh, keep surviving and thriving. All right, so Bitcoin searches for this week is still pegged at thirteen. Uh, so it's a pretty nice uh, trend. It's up, then flatline, then up. So it's actually starting to match what the cryptocurrency markets are doing. So. Uh, let's hope that this Bitcoin worldwide search term uh, continues to skyrocket because eventually once it breaches uh, this high over here of search interest, that's going to go straight up to all time new highs. So it'll be interesting to actually see the formation of, uh, of a sentiment uh, chart because normally when I do investing all my life, I usually just look at price charts for the but I've never realized you could track sentiment. I always wanted to. So this is like the closest thing we have, which is Bitcoin searches and Google trends. So this is why this is why the first thing we always check is the sentiment here. Because once I see this thing going up, then I know we're in full swing of the bull run. Then I have to start thinking about uh, you know actually the the actual exit strategy, specifically when we want to start dumping our crypto. So uh, that that that's when I'm going to be uh, going to be looking at. 
uh, and that'll be uncharted territory. Though, of course, you know, we'll use my previous experience to, you know, formulate a plan. All right, so uh, let's see. Bitcoin Dodds is down to 61.7%, so it's actually crashing. This is perfect. This is uh, what the Bitcoin predictor guy back in Reddit said a long time ago, even though his pricing was way off. But, you know, the altcoins are finally rising, so that's very good. 24 hour volume is probably at a pretty, this has got to be an all time high too, 193.6 billion. I've never seen a number, I mean, it's almost approaching 200 billion. So, um, well, not all time high, but, you know, a, you know, like, I don't know, 12 month high or whatever you want to call it. But this is actually really good. That means everything's going berserk uh, in the upward direction. That's what we want. The Bitcoin last night was at 10,300 something or even 400 something. Now it's down to 10,231, but it does look like it wants to go back up. Ethereum XRP are skyrocketing. Uh, Bitcoin Cash and SV looks like they're kind of recovering a little bit. Litecoin's at $81 essentially. So this is great. So everything's just going to skyrocket. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, maybe there's something newsworthy happening. Uh, Dog coins at 375.4 million. So it's flatlining a little bit. So there's a lot of activity on crypto markets. They're just going crazy right now. Um, Steam is at 22.57. Yeah, and then of course there's some new fad coin, FAD, right? Not to be confused with the other F word, right? Which uh, gets you banned. Uh, Chilla's coin. Um, yeah, see, there's always like these weird new coins and they just come and go and it's just like, all right, well, there's spam. Like, why can't why can't investors, you know, dump some of their money into these, right? Uh, Bitcoin Trust is doing pretty much what they're supposed to. Uh, the stock markets are down uh, a little bit today. Oh, interesting. J I haven't heard back from Crack, so it's st so JMC Coin's still obviously down, but they haven't said anything bad, so I guess they'll get around to it. Uh, JMC is at three to four. Otherwise, uh, just not much activity because again, nobody can <laughs> deposit or move their money out yet. Uh, 404 coins also starting to suffer. Uh, like the trade volume is just dead, right? You know, no, right now everyone just wants the main coins. Nobody really wants these exotics, as I call them. It's a car I'm just borrowing language from the foreign currency markets. So right now it's at 9 to 10. Buy support's also obviously very strong. However, nobody really wants to buy anything right now either. So I think it has something to do with whatever's happening on the front page, right? You know, where all the major cryptocurrencies is where all the money is. So basically, we're just going to have to wait. Uh, otherwise, this is kind of crappy, 9 to 10. It's like, what do, what do you want to do with that, right? Uh, 2 by 2 coin is holding very st strong and steady. Strong. <laughs> 68 to 71, so it's 66, 67. Uh, yeah, otherwise, 2x2 two two is very solid because, again, they don't have all, it's still a relatively new coin, so the supply is not a problem. At least not yet. Compound coin is still continues to be pretty stable. It's at 4250 to 5100 Satoshis of a dog coin. Uh, there appeared to be a pretty big buy order. Uh, well, let's just say 55 million uh, compound coins. So. Yeah, 55 million. Otherwise, not really a whole lot going on, it looks like. But hey, you know, as long as someone's, you know, doing something in Compound Coin, that means it's worth it for me to continue mining this coin. So, not a whole lot. So, let's actually see if something we can find what's going on. Uh, so, technicals, technicals, uh, bomb threat in Amsterdam, uh, Bitcoin liner block fire raises 30 million series B led by Peter Thiel's Valar Ventures. Hmm, I'm starting to, voice is starting to, hmm. Block fire. I kind of don't really care because it's such a small number, but all right. Uh. Oh, let's just read it real quick. What does BlockFi do? Um, so, Singapore this year. Uh, okay, here we go. BlockFi's been providing fiat loans with Bitcoin and Ethereum collateral since the beginning of last year. It marched. Okay, so they're a lending company. Because I remember covering this in previous Bitcoin videos, but I just don't remember what these guys do. 
Uh, more supplies not been able to meet deposit or demand. The firm reports having more than 650 million assets to apply for a 6160. Okay, so they're basically a uh, loan, a, 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 not a loan shark, but they're a finance slash banking company. They just loan money, so no, nothing really that fancy. But all right, you know, it's a proven, it's a solid business model, right? Loans. In fact, when I buy my house in Florida, Tampa, Florida, you know, I'm probably going to take like a 50, 60 percent loan. Right? And my down payments, I mean, like houses are so cheap there. So, yeah, I could plop down, you know, 40 percent down, which is that's only going to be like, what, 80 to 100 grand, assuming the house is like 200 grand. Like I found a really nice house for like 200 grand. It's right by the ocean. What more can I ask for? And it does appear that, you know, we have a dedicated parking lot, too uh for for uh for for where that house is located so i don't have to worry about parking and i tell them the house i could have bought i'm mean, obviously not buying it now but if i were to buy it it, co it comes with a um a garage too u.s consumers you know mobile baggy bridge to encourage bitcoin pairs block fi has raised 30 million um i don't know that's weird it wasn't meant to, they're financed they're a lending company Oh, okay. See this. See this article. So CoinDesk was crap. This was better. Uh, Bitcoin is made of payment. People can use cash. But what if U.S. consumer large check use Bitcoin as cash? Uber rides or groceries. BlockFi believes a mobile banking service with credit loans and a reward system will be the holy grail. They received thirty million in a Series B investment to build it. Okay. Um, all right. It depends on the U.S. consumer investing using crypto for everyday purchases. Oh, okay. So they're actually moving into mainstream case use. All right. That's what's going on. Based in New York City. Uh, she told me the growth of the U.S. market is the best way to encourage cryptocurrency as a subtle means of payment. Yeah. America is the prize. We are the crown of the world, even despite all our evil degeneracy and all that stuff. So, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I did the video yesterday, so Jerome Powell has done a 180 on Bitcoin and crypto. So it's only going to be a matter of time before America, um, you know, uh, embraces cryptocurrency. And then that's when the bull, then that's when the bubble of this current bull run will probably pop. All right. It'll fuel it for a while, preferably the longer, the better. Right. So we have more time to farm and mine money. Um, video game uh chinese gold farming style right just farm as much money as you can and then when the time is right you know we start dumping right because remember like my prediction video and I, that's pinned on my twitter from last year right i said i put in five figures unknown number except obviously to myself uh i put in yeah i put down five figures of my own cash as a bet this is also what i call in this video my um insurance fund so you know if everything I do is wrong, as long as I keep my crypto, and I, and uh, did I say, yeah, I put it in the Litecoin, because that's, that's my favorite, right? That's that's still going to be my favorite, all right? Um, whatchamacallit, that's weird. I thought I retweeted something after this, but all right, that's fine. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, this is the guy I'm talking about, Jesse Lee Peterson. A lot of black people don't like him because they think he's a traitor to his own race, but that's because, you know, uh, God is Jesse's uh daddy and not satan right you know a lot of people have satan in the, uh, as their daddy and then i really love this thrawn picture so anyway um yeah so i put five figures in my own cash uh basically if litecoin hits 60 grand to 100 grand uh at the peak right uh and bitcoin is probably a million dollars at that point or so or even 500 grand yeah, I'll have, I'll have many, many millions of dollars. So I can buy my house, probably all cash. I wouldn't even buy it with the mortgage uh, process. But I might still do it just for the credit rating. And then all my other remaining cash will obviously be reinvested into commercial real estate. So I'll probably start buying up buildings in Tampa, right? Because I don't have to ever worry about population. Because U.S. Central Command is actually located in Tampa, Florida. So there's always going to be a demand for housing, right? I mean, it's even better. It's U.S. Central Command. Right, one of the biggest bases in throughout the entire world. Uh, so yeah, they. I mean, I think U.S. Central Command already has pre-built barracks and houses for their troops, right? For our troops. So you know, uh, but that isn't to say that like you know they're not going to have friends or whatever. So they're obviously going to be back and forth. So there's there's the population safety and uh, use case for the town, or in this case the city of Tampa, Florida 
is 100 percent you know very good so uh you know they'll, they'll always you know we'll never have to worry about it plus you know donald trump invests in florida too so you know if it's good enough for trump it's obviously going to be good enough for me uh so what was the point of this? yeah so i made this april 4th 2019 i have to re-upload so i actually made this video when did i make this video actually uh april 3rd 2019 yeah so yeah very good stuff very good stuff um so yeah uh why did i go into that little diatribe um oh yeah so the p bubble will uh be ultimately the bubble will start and pop thanks to america so that's why i want america to embrace cryptocurrency because then everybody will see oh america's in on it now now i have to get in so everybody in the entire world will lose their minds and go start jumping in right so uh, and we take advantage of that how can we make it easy for people never invested in crypto to try as an alternative for that to happen miss marquez expects to launch a mobile version service in 2020 i'll link bank accounts to their lending service not unusual coinbase or coin mama offer credit card purchases and linkage to bank accounts the u.s market has been slow to use these services commonly yeah because visa and mastercard don't want the competition right they're they're, they're evil globalist companies just like pretty much everyone else so of course they're going to attack bitcoin and crypto and not use it right because why would they uh, use the technology or allow the technology of their own destruction right you know so it's, it's uh the human evil satan, satan ego uh at work uh blah blah blah, blah. regulatory rules of crypto moving target could change private uh, we already heard of that uh well it's going to change for the better now that jerome powell has uh, decided to you know see the light of god finally all right and it's only going to be a matter of time before Donald Trump himself will have to uh, embrace Bitcoin. Even if he doesn't like it or want to, he's going to be forced to do it. So it's uh, it's going to be inevitable. Just like America First is going to be inevitable. Blah, blah. Okay, I don't want to read the rest. So very good. Was there a thumbnail? All right. So, eh, all right. This is, uh, can we open this image in a new tab? Oh, actually, this would be a really nice uh, thumbnail. Yeah, that's what I'm after. Uh, flash in the pan. So that's just routers spreading more fake news terrorism. Back time Iran squandered three eleven million in Bitcoin for dark net transactions. <laughs> Fed say, oh, uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, I mean, we have nothing on daily holdo. We'll end the we'll end this video on that. We could because yesterday we had North Korea ramping up Monero Bitcoin mining operations. So we could we could always use a little more humor. Uh, record highs, Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. It's quite expensive to 600 machines. All right, so the fundamentals look very solid, both mindset and people actually doing stuff. Okay, so that's 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 good. Uh, yeah, we can X that out. We'll keep this here. Um, Jay Powell. Uh, oh, so is, is his name Jay Powell or Jerome Powell? Uh, so Libra lit a fire all eyes in central bank digital currencies. So we definitely have to read that. Uh, that's fun. That's that's the fundamentals. This is what's going to cause America to embrace cryptocurrency because the U.S. government now says, specifically the central bank, is going to be like, okay, we're now using um, USA coin or America coin. Uh, so we'll definitely read that. Uh, three all covered at pop. Say head over heels. Invest on crypto. Coinbase says a six advantages over this. Da, 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 da. Seven Dutch. Uh, so they're talking about gold. See, you didn't buy, even reading the uh, headline before I even read the text. I already knew they were referring to gold. See, I've been doing this a long time. And then, you know, history starts repeating itself, which is pretty nice because that means that's less thinking I have to waste. And, you know, I can devote it more to uh figuring out new ideas because again most ideas are going to be pretty bad right well actually uh, well i don't know mine are actually pretty solid so probably because i have experience and of course listening to god so that's probably why my uh ideas are getting better uh because ultimately uh everything comes from god that's what jesse lee peterson said like you don't do anything you can't change your own life and you can't do anything yourself right that's god uh doing that so your job is to open yourself up to god so that he can do all that stuff for you and his gift to you is you know your life gets better right and that's why it's a gift right uh but you gotta let go kind of thing 
So, uh, you know, it's starting to become a little more clear to me what that really means. So, uh, I, mean, that, I mean, that's what I did 10 years ago, right? I was like, all right, you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of chasing money. So let, let me just hand everything over to God and see how that works out, right? If I'm wrong, I can always just, well, nothing changes, right? Right? I have nothing to lose but everything to gain. And boy, am I glad I gained everything. Uh, otherwise, I would have gone crazy. Anyway, uh, Jay Powell, Federal Reserve Chairman. So, so Jerome Powell. Oh my God! Now I'm starting to get Jerome. Okay, now I'm starting to get confused. Uh, so he is the Federal Reserve Chief, all right? Yeah, it's the same guy, Jerome Hayden J. Powell. Right. Okay, so it is the same guy. I'm starting to get confused now. So Libra lit a fire. Okay. So Jay Powell is carrying Facebook's proposed currency leader for prompting the Federal Reserve to take a closer look at digital assets. Uh, he is confirming that central banks of the world are exploiting the possibility of creating digital versions of fiat currencies. Yes, that's what you should be doing. Yes, that's exactly what you should be doing. So that way, when I use the stupid ACH system for my stock market account, I mean, they, uh, the one I use, I actually am not going to say which one I'm using, but it's a major one. That's not E-Trade because, you know, well, I mean, I guess I have to forgive them for screwing me over in the dot or the real estate bubble collapse. Um, but uh, what should I call it? I forgot. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. But yeah, like, you know, we have to wait five days for ACH to, you know, finalize. Well, with digital currencies, it can be done as little as like one hour. All right. So like they need, they need to like step up their game here. And I'm glad they're finally doing that. Every major central bank is currently taking a deep look at that. We feel that it's our obligation. Tech has now made it possible. Having a single government currency at the heart of the financial system is something that served us well. It's a very basic thing. It really hasn't been in question. I think before we move away from it, we should really understand what we're doing. Well, you don't have to do that, right? You know, people could still, people will just simply use USA coin as the reserve currency, right? It just won't be paper money. In fact, um, depending on how you want to do it, like you can even track it, right? Depending on how, you know, but what's interesting is Jerome in yesterday's video, he actually mentioned that uh, he's a little concerned about the privacy issue. So that's pretty funny. Like, you know, you can't have it both ways. You can either have privacy, which will therefore allow for money laundering or you could go after money laundering but then that comes at the expense of privacy you can't have it both ways they are both mutually exclusive so uh you know he's just gonna have to bite the bullet on this one so to speak libra facebook came out under fire from paul and other policymakers last year when they expressed concerns that the giants tried to track record of data to privacy and financial events of a stable guys as a part of breach of built-in user capacity. Frankly, we're lit a fire. It's a bit of a wake-up call that is coming fast and could come in a way that's quite widespread, systematically important, fairly quickly. If you use one of these big tech networks like Libra did, Paul reiterates that the organization is merely examining the possibility of creating a digital asset, and nothing set in stone. We fully appreciate boards of making quick progress. We have not decided to do this though. There are many questions that need to be answered around digital currency for America, including cyber issues, privacy issues. All right, you don't want people hacking, and you definitely don't want privacy problems. So I'm actually pretty glad he seems pretty consistent with leaning more towards privacy rather than uh, money laundering, which is basically, uh, you know, give us all your data kind of thing. Many operational alternatives present themselves, so we're going to be working through all of that. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. So alternatives to cryptocurrency? Hmm. As for Bitcoin crypto market policy, we believe the U.S. should continue to develop a robust regulatory system for emerging assets. So this is good. So that means he's not going to oppose Hester Pierce as she uh, pushes forward uh, pro cryptocurrency regulations. I especially need that thing where she says you have three years for your coin to become decentralized, which is more than we need. All right. Because for me, if I want to raise money, I'm going through the traditional stock market route because I'm just going to have my company listed just like Zynga uh, listed publicly traded right and then it'll be, because I actually want the experience that like Bill Gates went through when he took that's still one of my other childhood dreams right like you know like I remember in sixth grade I think it was 19 how old was I what year was it 1990 1991 for my sixth grade class I still remember him there was a Jewish Israeli teacher it was actually pretty cool right Mr. Glassman I still remember him right Pretty nice. He was, you know, he was on. He was kind of like a hippie boomer guy, but he was pretty buffed. 
All right, he wore glasses. He was super cool, though. He was a good teacher. And uh, one of the things he had us do was we had to play the stock market game. And, like, obviously, you know, that was, like, right up my alley. So I was, like, so happy. I think I actually did pretty well. I made a lot of, I made a lot of fictional money doing it. Like, oh, wow, you know. I don't think I was at the best in the class, but I was pretty close at the top because I basically just kept buying Microsoft. I also gravitated towards uh, finance uh, stocks too. So even, even at a young age, I already knew where my life was headed. So, so I'm always pretty grateful for that. Though I guess, I don't know, he might not be happy, uh, you know, me being a certain type of political stance these days. But, you know, you know I, I have to learn to love all people, right? Including Jewish people. So, you know, yeah, I like, uh, I, I think I can understand that. Because right? at the end of the day, I have to call out evil. Uh, uh, evil people doing bad stuff, right? It doesn't matter if they're Jews or not, right? Anybody can do evil stuff, so uh, that that's what we have to keep an eye on. Uh, what are we at? Thirty minutes. Uh, this is kind of a long thing, and there's no pictures here. Uh, let's see. All right, so some dude in Cleveland, Ohio. I think that's I mean, that's what this looks like. Bath Township has been charged with three hundred eleven million dollars of the money laundering using crypto. Uh, Larry Dean Harmon faces several charges, detailed an indictment, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, okay. So he ran a Bitcoin mixing or tumbling operation. So that's actually considered illegal now. Huh. Uh, I called Helix part with Ally on the ground. Uh, Alpha Bay to provide money line card for good access to microphone on the dark net, which is not accessible through internet browsers used by most of the public. Okay. So he probably would have been able to get away with this. If he did not use the dark net, that's probably what it is. Cause let's see, Bitcoin tumbler mix or yeah, I could, I, yeah, I could access one right now. Um, crypto mixer, I was built from the blah, blah, blah. We don't understand protection, privacy, blah, 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 blah. Uh, as of, oh, as of today, this is, this is actually probably a script that actually uh, just checks your computer's date. We have not received any national security letters. We have not received any gag orders. We have not received warrants from any government organization. We are committed to zero. We have zero laws. We never allow the activities of anyone. Um, okay. Uh, okay. It's designed with a big country. We've done the uh, high level of protection. Um, okay. Uh, Okay, blah, blah, blah. Believe it or not, so believe it or not, you don't have to, uh, believe it or not, you don't even have to use a cryptocurrency mixer. What you do is just use like an open exchange, like any of them, and just, and just transmit small amounts of money. <laughs> you know, it's what drug dealers do in real life when like, you know, they're in Mexico and they cross over the border to Texas. Actually, um, the Netflix show Narcos actually talks about it. They just simply have random people deposit like not like less than $10,000 a day every day. So, uh, but I mean, I think by, but that was back then in the eighties. So by now, obviously you kept doing that. Then the bank's still going to probably file a SAR report on you. All right. I'm pretty sure my bank account got hit with an SAR many times, uh, went during the last bull run, right? Cause I was depositing a lot of money, uh, from my fiat, you know, exchange fiat to crypto exchange. Uh, but it was definitely less than 10,000 a day. So, uh, SAR stands for suspicious activity report. They immediately send it off to the IRS because, you know, obviously, you know, they want to keep track of money launderers. So, and obviously I am not doing that. That's why I'm still here and, and I'm not in jail doing this from prison. Uh, actually, I want to even have access to the internet probably in prison. Um, grand jury indicted Harmon in December, uh, the uh, same IRS and FBI agents arrested him and searched his home for da 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 da. Uh, he had a vacation property, blah, 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 blah. Uh, his, uh, he also owns Coin Ninja and Harmon White Innovations, charged with conspiracy to launder money. Uh, they want millions of dollars in financial penalties. They want to forfeit his house in Yellow Creek Road. Mm, excuse me. All right. He says, especially a file list of criminals, Italian memory 57. U.S. Magistrate Judge Kathleen Burke in Akron. So, since it's a woman judge, she's definitely going to take this guy to the cleaners. 
Uh, unless Harmon comes out as like a very hardcore alpha male, then maybe Kathleen will be pretty nice to uh, this Harmon dude. Uh, let's see. He is in the custody of the U.S. Marshal Service, and he will be in Washington, D.C. for prosecution. She wrote an order that the case against him appears strong, that he faces a little prison sentence if he's convicted, and that he has ties outside the country. Uh, his attorney right there. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. We don't need the thing. He's hiding transactions. An FBI agent transferred 16% Bitcoin from Alpha Bay Wallet to Helix on November 8th, 2016. The day that God Emperor Donald Trump himself was elected president. He looks a shade for an equivalent amount, less a uh, 2.5 uh, He posted one comment that he didn't want any UC under Korea working for any of the anyway that could make him prove he wasn't an ID. Hard start shutting down Graham saying he looked in separate. Um, okay, so the Alpha Base period, man, he killed himself on custody in Thailand, 27 corner news released. Hmm. I don't understand it. Like, why is this thing here, but then BigCryptoMixer.io is not in trouble? Huh. Something, something to think about. Anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my uh, YouTubes at YouTube.com forward slash uh, the Lemon Factor BTC. I'm actually trying to manage my bit heroes at the same time. So uh, smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page, and then uh, yeah, you know, you just want uh, well, you want to, you want to, well, hey, you want to get rich, then yeah, you know, subscribe. You know, if you want to get closer to God, you know, that also will probably help with that too. Though in my case, I view myself again as an usher, so I just point you towards basically who I think is pretty honest and straightforward, like myself. So yeah, Jesse Lee Peterson um, fits the bill. And that's the other thing, too. I think I kind of real, no, no, to realize that a lot of fake right people, like, you know, the so-called new right, you know, they don't actually go on Jesse Lee Peterson's show. Uh, Mike Cernovich does go on that. I don't think he goes on that anymore, though. Hasn't really needed to. Um, I don't want to mention the other names because basically the other names are all fake right. You know, until, until they prove themselves by supporting Nick Fuentes, you know, the Griper First guy. <laughs> Not Griper First. America first gripper uprising, you know, um, yeah, I have to consider them uh, pretty much anti-America first, basically uh, enemies of America. And uh, to make matters worse, they say they are Christians, yet they are lying. It's, uh, it's very evil. It's very bad. Um, so, you know, uh, but I imagine God's wrath will eventually take care of it. I have to, you know, do something else now. I, I, as much as I would like to do God's wrath, too, um, I think God has other plans for me, so you know I've got to, I got to listen to Him. So anyway, I'm done for the day. I'm starting to get very hungry. Today is lifting weights day, so yeah, it's only 11:13 a.m. So yeah, oh well, I'll, just, I'll eat first and then lift weights. So uh, enjoy your day or night. I will see you all in tomorrow's video, and uh, yeah, enjoy the uh, continued bull run because yeah, Litecoin's been making some pretty impressive strides. So. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Let's uh, just kind of hope that finally some of this money will find its way into 404 coin, you know, because I really don't want to be selling anything at uh, at nine substitutions. This is just really like, what are we doing with this number? Oh well. Anyway, see you all in tomorrow's video, and uh, thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 coin. I haven't even bothered to update the uh, page views on these. Yeah, it's not a whole lot yet. And uh, I really like this thumbnail.